guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Courtney Lynn and in today's video we're getting some housework done here in the living room and kitchen and also putting up some summer decor, getting our home ready for summertime by adding some pops of color here in the living room and kitchen. I hope that you'll stick around if you're brand new and welcome back if you've been here before. It's so good to have all of you here today and I hope you feel inspired and motivated through this video. Let's go guys. So if you've come here today looking for some inspiration and if you're cleaning along with me, you've come to the right place. I'm glad you found my channel. Today I'm just getting our living room straightened up and then I'm gonna do a little bit of dusting. I'm gonna wash a window and some vacuuming, things like that before I get started on the best part, the most fun part actually, which is decorating. I love to decorate um, and I love to clean as well, but decorating definitely takes the cake in my opinion. But I've noticed that there's been some new people who have come to my channel and I just wanted to give a little bit of an introduction. Um, I'm completely new to this YouTube thing, but I'm trying my very best and I'm having a lot of fun while creating content for you guys. Um, but like I've said already, my name is Courtney Lynn and I'm 20 years old and I've started this YouTube channel because I love to clean, I love to decorate, I love to organize and I love to just make our house a home. Um, I still live at home with my parents. I have um, one brother and one sister and I love them dearly. Sometimes they're in and around my videos, but most of the time you'll just see me here on this channel. I am in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend who lives in Virginia. And uh, yeah, that's literally a coast to coast relationship. He's on the East Coast and I'm on the West Coast. We try to make it work somehow. We get to see each other every couple months. I'm hoping one day to change that to where it's permanent and we're together forever. But until then, we're just gonna keep doing this long distance thing. But I love him very dearly and I'm so grateful to have him and all of my family supporting me on this YouTube journey. So thank you guys for sticking along too. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be in on all of the fun that takes place around here. Last week I posted a summer um, clean with me and it was completely outdoors. We got our backyard ready for summertime. We had a really fun um, barbecue. We made chicken kebabs. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll go ahead and link that down below. Um, so you can check that out when this video is over, but that was a fun video as well. Um, lots of summer motivation for that. If you are ready to get your backyard ready for the summer, this video will definitely motivate you to get things done. My mom and I just took a really quick trip to Texas. This is actually the third time that I've been to Texas in a month for just various reasons. This last time we went to Texas for a wedding of a family friend of ours and we just had a blast. Just me and mom went and we made it a fun girls trip. It was really quick, but we had a blast. We made lots of memories and got to hang out with our friends and that was completely worth it to us just to be able to spend time with them and help out with the wedding, help set up and tear down and all that fun stuff that goes in between. But we're happy to be home and getting things ready for summer. We have so many things planned for the summertime, mostly things that are um, gonna be taking us out of state again, but we do travel a lot in the summertime, but we love it that way. We're so happy to be out in the summer. We get to see a lot of friends, we get to see family, and we, it just makes for a really fun summer for us. But that doesn't mean that I won't be posting on YouTube. So I have lots of fun content coming up for YouTube for summertime. It is probably one of my favorite seasons. I, I love Christmas. I think Christmas takes the cake. But this definitely, summertime definitely is one of my favorites with swimming and barbecuing. And, you know, my siblings are out of school. It just, it's a fun time. We all get to hang out together and travel and make lots of memories and go to lots of different places. So I'm sorry I'm kind of talking your guys' leg off today. Right now in our video, I'm outside cleaning our window. It was pretty bad, so I went ahead and hosed it down and then I'm using some glass cleaner um, to wipe it down. For those of you who don't know where I live, I live in Central California and we live pretty much in just like dairy community where I'm at especially. There's a huge dairy like literally right across the street from my house and so we get flies 
like you would not believe. So everything outside is always covered with fly specks and we have dust on everything. I can wash my car one day and the next morning it'll have an inch of dust on it. It's just because those cows next to us are constantly moving and keeping that dust stirred. So that's why I was cleaning that window outside because it definitely needed some love. So let's go ahead and move back on into the living room. I'm taking down, this is what we would consider more of our spring decor. We had the bunnies up from Easter and we just kind of left them um, to kind of flow into springtime. We did take all of the eggs down and left the rabbits, but it was pretty stinking dusty up here. As you can tell right here, there was about an inch of dust on everything. So it was definitely time for a deep dusting and ready to be redecorated. Whenever you see a video of me decorating, you should just know that my mom is close by me. Um, I love to decorate, I love to give my input, but she is the overall deciding factor on what looks good and what doesn't, and she comes up with the best ideas, and she, she can just make things work so much easier. She has a special touch for it, for sure. So here I've just brought in our bin of kind of our random summer stuff that we've just thrown in there. So for the past year, I think last summer we did this as well, we did our living room in more pineapple themed. Um, so bringing the pops of yellows and pinks into our living room, which is so much fun to add those bright colors. I know some living rooms are more elegant and you would never add these colors, but we like to add them in this living room. Um, so we have a lot of pineapple stuff. And then in our kitchen, we do lemons in the summertime. And it goes really good with my mom's um, dishes that she has. You know, originally she, her dishes were, were blue and yellow. So we're just adding that yellow, um, pulling it in from her dishes. And the lemons look so cute in the kitchen. So we're adding pineapples in the living room and lemons in the kitchen. So before I start the mantle today, I'm putting the same exact greenery that I just had up there, dusting it first, of course, because it was super dusty. Um, and then I'm going to be placing all of the fun decor up here. And we kind of go back and forth on our mantle decor. We kind of, sometimes we'll put a lot of stuff up there and sometimes we'll keep it pretty minimalistic, depending on how we're feeling um, when we're decorating. But today we're going a little bit more on the minimalistic side. And I, I tend to go between both. I love both styles. I love when the mantle is covered in decor and then I love when it's more simplistic. So I guess it all depends on how you're feeling that day and what your style is. And I guess I haven't really um, determined a set style for me yet, which is why I kind of go back and forth between the two. This is a Spice Vanilla Cupcake Candle from Bath & Body Works, and we absolutely love Bath & Body Works, especially their candle line. And this one was perfect because it's got that yellow and it has a little bit of rose gold, which I thought was cute too. So we're placing that up on the mantle. Then we have these two little pineapple um, candle stands or candle holders. I'm not sure what the technical term, the correct term would be for them. But we're putting these two topiary balls on there. And I'm moving this little floral arrangement out of the kitchen, kind of, and moving it into this little window we have that connects the kitchen and the living room. Since we're moving the pinks out of the kitchen and kind of placing them more into the living room, we thought this would be a great place for them. And these cherries right here, we just washed them and I laid them out to dry. Now I'm placing them into this bowl. These were actually given to us by some friends of ours who grew them themselves. So they are homegrown. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of um, wiping down some of the appliances here in our kitchen. Um, I didn't do a deep clean on these because they had just recently been done. 
But there was a few fingerprints and some dust on these, so I thought I would just wipe them down before we get to decorating in here as well. And I wanted to talk about this stove top because you see it in a lot of my videos and I'm never happy with the results of it because it has, I don't know if you would consider it stains or what, but there's or scratches, I guess it would be, be called. Um, but it has this all over the stove top and I can never get rid of them. Um, but I've tried my very best to scrub it off or leave something on there and I can't ever get them to come off. So I guess I've just... Um, come to grips with the fact that they will just be on there forever, I guess. Um, but they're not dirty. <laughs> they just have those marks on there and they will not come off. I'm just wiping down our countertops, giving it a fresh clean before I throw some decor in here. Like I said, we're adding lemons decor in here. So we had like a lemonade sign and a little lemonade box that we're putting in here. And then a little lemon candle that we're going to throw in here and light as well. I would love to hear more from you guys, so if you'd like to comment in the comment box down below, let me know um, if you're new here or if you've been around for a while, where you're from, um, what your favorite hobbies are, anything, I don't care. But I just wanted to hear from you guys a little bit and get to know you all a little bit better. So we took a cake stand and then we're adding like a two-tiered stand onto that as well to give it more height. And then we're just going to kind of place things all around this stand. Um, you see this a lot and people just layer things on there and add random decor onto it. Um, so we're trying to go for that look. Uh, we're not the best at it yet, but <laughs> we just kind of threw some things on there and I, I like the end result a lot. Then I took another one of these yellow and brown pots and I'm placing some of this um, paper filler stuff. And then we had some fake lemons and I'm stacking that in there to make it look like a bucket of lemons and then placing that here in the kitchen as well. And we had kind of like a springy little towel and we're adding lemon towels instead. And we had a Vanilla Bean Noel um, hand soap here in the kitchen and we thought it was time for a summery looking scent. So the Christmas one's gone and the summer scent is in. Our little coffee bar we have right here, we love this thing. Um, but I'm just wiping down all of the syrups right here, wiping down the tray. I th think I actually washed this now that I come to think of it. I'm wiping down the coffee maker and I'm gonna just refresh everything and make sure that it's cleaned before I put the syrups back on. And I've talked about these syrups before, but if you're new here, these syrups that we have that were all on the tray, we love those for our flavored tea. Some of my favorites are the blackberry syrup, I love the mango, the peach, um, and I'm trying to think, I think those are like my top favorites. I like them all, but I, I specifically like those. Those are really yum to just add into your tea. They give it a little bit of a different taste and you can mix it up if you want. So here I'm just putting a little nail into the wall and with a lemon sign that says so fresh, so clean. And of course you've gotta light a candle if the room's all clean, right? So that's what I'm doing here lighting this candle to get that lemon scent going in this kitchen. And last but not least, one more thing that I wanted to do was to vacuum this floor here in the living room. So I'm using our Musu cordless vacuum and if you do not know what a Musu is, it is a great brand of vacuum cleaners, but this is a less expensive brand of vacuum cleaners 
and I feel like it does a fantastic job and it can compete with the best of them. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to check out our Musu cordless vacuum. I love the way that all of our decor came together. I loved the pinks and the yellows, and then I loved the lemon theme in the kitchen. I, I thought it turned out really good, and we got a lot of this stuff from Hobby Lobby and anywhere else that we went shopping. Uh, we love Marshalls, Burlington Home Goods, Ross, things like that, so kind of more random places, but we love our summer decor so much. Well, thank you guys for sticking around today. I hope you uh, feel motivated after watching this. And I hope that you'll be back soon to hang out more with me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.